Hello everyone, this is me, Ryan, of course, here on the Ghost Layers Report. Alright, so, before we start, I want to show you something. We have that, I believe. Yeah, you can see that. And we have this one here. Okay? So, get a better shot of the first one. Yeah. So, if I was working for the local Osaka government, I would not be eligible for a promotion. Now this comes from um, Mayor Toru Hashimoto. He's a radical um, populist leader in Osaka. He was formerly the um, governor of the prefecture. It is now due to having a strong local party he's developed he's become mayor of Osaka and he's done a lot of interesting things he's shaking things up in the political structure down there he's trying to create a, um, a government structure uh, similar to what is in Tokyo but that's another issue uh, recently he sent out a poll demanding that all public employees respond to a survey saying if they have a tattoo or not if you refuse to you don't lose your job or anything but um, he says, you'll never be promoted to any, any position higher than what you currently are, as long as I'm mayor of the city. Now, this sounds kind of strange. So if you look further, he says, um, he's quoted as saying, when, you, when, any, gov when any company does, del gives a direct order, you follow it. and say, we're not any different. So he's basically saying, do it or you're, there's going to be consequences. He's not giving people a right to say, look, it's my private life, it's my body, I don't think it has anything to do with my job. All right? So he, then after that he goes a step further. He sends out an email uh, Sunday, from what I've gathered, uh, asking all local government officials to uh, record the names of everyone who refused to respond, this is about 500 people, and find out the reason why. So they have to uh, Submit this paperwork saying, yes, I did not respond. Here's my name. Here's my what I do for the government. And here's why I did not respond. He's going to keep a list of those. So it seems pretty clear he's going to use political influence to come down hard on a group of people he doesn't like. Um, that's well, amazing. Okay? So the actual... From the actual list of people who did respond and said they did have a tattoo is 110. So you have 110 people who said, yeah, I got a tattoo. Another 500 have said, I'm not telling you one way or another. And the rest of them responded, yeah, I got no tattoos. So why does he care? Why is this important? Well, it's kind of um, an odd uh, kind of Japanese way to uh, sniff out corruption within the government. Because in Japan, traditionally, a tattoo was an identification card for your membership into Yakuza or Japanese Mafia. So if you have a tattoo, as a traditional thinking goes, you're probably in Yakuza. But there's a problem with that. Um, I'm a perfect example of it. I have tattoos and um, <laughs> I'm not a member of the Japanese Mafia. There's a good chance I never will be. And as a younger generation in Japan, they view tattoos differently. Now tattoos are beautiful and a work of art, and a lot of people get them for aesthetic or fashionable reasons. So you, now it's hard to use the tattoo as identification to say whether you're um, a member of the Mafia or not. But it doesn't matter to Mr. Hashimoto. It doesn't matter to him at all. It shows a, a kind of disconnect between uh, him as a leader and the actual people. It seems he doesn't understand that times have changed and tattoos are not an instant sign that you're in a mafia. It could mean just a simple thing of personal expression or something you got on a whim. whim. Some cute little thing has no message. A lot of girls do that. I've seen plenty of tattoos on the legs, little butterflies and you know, Mickey Mouse somewhere, you know on them. So people do it for reason of fashion. 
So he's kind of disconnected here. It's the same guy, Mr. Uh, Toru Hashimoto, who claims to be a uh, leader of the people, a populist. And here he, here he is coming down hard on people uh, who have something in their body that's quite common these days. Not really a strange, taboo thing so much anymore. So he's definitely suspect now. Will he live up to his promises of creating an autonomous Osaka? Will he live up to the promises of being able to resist um, Tokyo ordinances and create ordinances more localized that benefit the people? Because this whole thing he's doing right now is not really benefiting anybody except for his political agenda and his political party. So leave comments in the comments box below. Let me know what you think of this situation. Uh, is it okay that he um, singles out people who have tattoos as to imply that they're somehow a member of mafia and corruption? Or is this a totally bad move where I'm more inclined to think that it's just coming down hard on people for political points? You know? So leave a comment if you want to. Okay? Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. It's Freedom WV, a Ghost Layers Report. So until next time, this is me, Ryan, here in Japan. Check it out.